Originally from Staten Island, New York, we lived all over the city in uh, upstate New York. In the winter of 79, 80, it was too darn cold up there, and we moved down to Florida. Uh, so grew up being a, you know, a surfer and an athlete, uh, playing lots of sports. I only applied to the University of Florida Law School. Uh, <laughs> I, was, uh, I, I just loved it there and was, was confident I was going to get in. And, um, you know, it's obviously, a, they say it's the greatest education in the country for the money you pay, and I uh, had a great time. For seven and a half years, I was a defense lawyer um, defending claims until I had my, my then girlfriend, now wife, and I had a car crash and realized that injuries were real and uh, didn't get treated very well by the very insurance company I defended uh, and decided that I was going to take my talents to the other side. I've always been a people person. And so for me, being able to represent uh, people who are injured, killed, catast uh, suffered catastrophically, from a serious crash is uh, the utmost privilege. Um, it's a huge burden, but one we take willingly and zealously and do everything we can to, one, bring justice to the families, and two, hopefully restore their faith in the justice system. Because many people, uh, because of all the TV advertising things that are out there, just don't have that high of an impression of lawyers until they find a good one to represent them. And so we try and, you know, represent the client zealously, get a great result, restore their faith in the system. And hopefully the third aspect is try and get some safety measure instituted by that trucking company that's going to prevent that crash from happening again.